In previous video, we started to make bike lure of 160 millimeter, and now we are going back to that design and practicing a little bit what else you can do in lure builder software. I have already logged in, and now I navigate into lure builder and into the library, my lures section. And as you remember, we created three different baselines or created a baseline from, from one phase where we were in design work. We had this lure one and we made a copy out from it and then also another copy due to the uh, uh, practicing reasons. We could rename also these copies to make a little bit more out of it. But let's imagine a situation that I want to keep this base shape untouched and I would start to work with this first copy that we did. I'm just click, quickly going into the edit and it opens up the same uh, scenario where, where we left and what, what we saved. Uh, it zooms, zoom might be a little bit different, but let's not mind about that. So we went through all the comments in the profile tab in previous video and now we go into the bend. So as you remember, we are working from left to right and bend tab is actually really fast to describe. It's simply to do little curvature, if you wish, to the lure. And you have certain amount of uh, control nodes in the lure center line. And here you can just move these control nodes and, and do this kind of a curvature to the, to the center line. You have tangents here as well if you wish to, wish to use these. So you can do this type of a twisting. Um, you should use bend uh, with caution. So as you already might have spotted, pay attention to the lure surface. If I'm doing too extraordinary curvature, there will be this kind of uh, weird areas in the surface. This would be impossible to manufacture in most of the cases and also for computer to calculate uh, the surface correctly in this type of areas it's it's quite hard and often it fails so be cautious about this do only subtle same changes uh, to your lure and uh, we don't have undo anywhere else in lure builder but here you have a possibility to reset the core which is which is a bless because you often might end up into a situation that, that you don't want to be in. If you would need some more control nodes, you can add them from these tools at point. Take your mouse somewhere to the center line area and just click with your index finger. And if you think that you have too much of nodes, you can select one active and then click here to remove it. Um, let's put this a little bit curved. I don't want to use this too extensively, but something like this could still go. A little bit weird looking for my purposes, but for some other lure this could go. And I'm now saving this version of the lure. Bit of a history recap. Um, when we started Lure Builder, we were first only able to create straight bodies and we were getting lots of requests from uh, software bait makers that could we do some shapes where you could have like a tail which would bend like a circle 180 degrees or more and lure builder cannot control such uh, profile lines which would have like multiple cross sections in, in some point of the x-axis so this bend was done first we thought that it would work for this kind of uh, um, tail shapes but we found out that it's too complex for surface geometry and, and we ended up into the troubles we decided to leave this bend tab here somebody could use it for subtle changes and, and testing really quickly that how uh, this kind of a bent lure body would, would work if you do like a 10 different uh, slight variations, 
then it could be useful. But typically, this is like less used tab from all of these. That's pretty much it, what you can do here. And next we will go into the components tab in our next video. Thanks for watching.